everybody, this is Julian. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my home here in Santa Monica, California, and welcome to a very fun California collective plant haul. It is 7 p.m. I'm finally back home, and I actually left the house at 7 in the morning for my very fun day trip up north. And if you haven't watched the vlog channel, go ahead and support the vlog channel. I share a lot of come with me's and my daily life here in California and Las Vegas. And I was able to go back and revisit a bunch of my favorite nurseries. And I try to go up north in just different sections of California every six months or so to see if there's anything new or interesting happening and revisit some of my favorite places. With the gyms being closed in California, I have not gone to San Diego for dance school since I want to say February or March. So we have not gone to a dog beach since then. It was the perfect day for me to head up north to relax, plant shop, eat, and just have a nice time with Ebby on my one day off for the week between teaching and dancing and it's just nice to be outside whether it's in the space or outside here in california when i've been inside in las vegas and hiding from the hot desert heat and it's also fun because california plant life no matter where you go has something very fun and interesting Got a bunch of different plants in today's video some of them are id'd and some of them are not so if you know any of the id's i would love your help in the comments down below i have love for begonias and i decided to pick up two in today's plant haul and i don't know the id on this one but take a look at how adorable this is there's spotted baby tiny begonia leaves and then if you look back here it has beautiful pink begonia blooms i fell in love with this begonia just because of the tiny shaped leaves and of course the spots on it i am interested in figuring out the exact id on begonia it. lovers know this particular plant id sound off in the comments down below it is just so so cute I just, I couldn't resist. I'm a sucker for begonias. This is definitely going to live either by my fountain or in my bathroom where there's lots of humidity. I have a few begonias behind me next to my fountain that's shaded area by the ferns and they do really well, if not in the bathroom. So really excited to have this one in my collection. It is so cute and dark. So here is baby number two. Very similar with the spots, but medium size leaf. Compared to my angel wing, which is behind me, this has smaller leaves and on the narrow side. So of course, I had to get it. I just, I think it's so adorable. The shape of the leaf and of course the spots on it, I could not pass it up. Very, very unique and there's lots of new growth. Let me bring up the other begonia in a second. So according to the ID here, it's a Begonia Yankee Doodle. Now, I did look up the Yankee Doodle. If this is a Yankee Doodle, but it's ID Yankee Doodle. So I'm gonna have to double check, but take a look at the difference between this Begonia and this Begonia. Both spotted, but you can see there's definitely a difference. If you look at the back side of the leaf, it has that maroon tinge to it versus this one, it's just green. I love it equally. This is gonna be super fun for me. Back to Las Vegas in a couple of days. So these are probably just gonna live in the bathroom while I'm away. And then maybe in the future, I'll go ahead and plant these up in an upcoming planting with Time for some very fun Hoyas. And one of my subscribers gave me her Hoya Australis Lisa to adopt because it wasn't doing well. It's still not doing well in the greenhouse. But I decided to get me the all green Hoya Australis to add to the collection. I got two and I'm gonna put them together and I'm really excited to add these Hoya to the collection. And it's just very fun to be able to expand the Hoya collection slowly but surely. I have other Hoyas that are in nursery planters that need to be planted up. So maybe before I leave to Las Vegas, I'll do a little planting with Julian Hoya edition and get these set up so I don't have to worry about them while I'm away for a handful of days but they're absolutely adorable I love collecting Hoyas so sound up in the comments down below if you have the Hoya Australis do you find this to be a rare plant or a common plant? If you haven't seen the Hoya Australis before do you consider this a sought out plant and a plant that is on your wish list? I just collect them all and it just depends on my mood if I feel like I'm gonna invest in a certain plant or not I know for me it was either today 
I was either going to add more Tritoscantias to the collection or add more Begonias to the collection. I've been on a Tritoscantia kick for so long, I decided to go with Begonias today. So it was either one or the other and I kind of controlled myself that way and gave myself a limit. But there, there was definitely a lot of interesting plants that I wanted to take home in today's plant shop. Speaking of Hoyas, I do have more. And I have not one, but two unidentified Hoyas. So I'm definitely going to have to do some research. I don't know if this is a Hoya that I already have in my collection or if this is something entirely new to the collection. I don't know. If I don't find the ID for this particular Hoya by the time this video goes up, please sound off in the comments down below what kind of Hoya do you think this is? Take a look at the shape of the leaves. I just, I have no idea. And obviously it is not in bloom, so that's no help either. But I bought two just because I love the long trail so much. And I can easily propagate this, no problem. So if any of you guys are interested in this Hoya, I definitely don't mind taking a cutting or two from it. And these will be planted up hopefully in the near future before I leave in a couple of days so very fun to add new Hoyas to the collection to wrap up this very fun California collective haul and this is I guess part of my birthday haul since it is Leo season and the last day of July I can't believe it 18 more days to my birthday I am a huge sense of varia lover I love collecting them if I come across them again and I see a bigger plant I may or may not repurchase the plant i've done that for many plants in the collective and i got me more panto sensation oh my goodness i am a sucker i'm looking at mine right now i think i have two or three sections it's a pretty good sized plant but when i came across this one today I was just so in love with it. I said, you know what? Why I'm not? I'm gonna be taking this apart to see how many sections I have and then I'm gonna combine it with my original one and put it in a bigger white planter. But let me know what do you guys think about the size of this Banto Sensation. For me here in California, it is a hit or miss. It's definitely not a common plant. You do see it from time to time. But if you do come across the Banto Sensation, it is a very expensive Sensevaria. So this is definitely an investment and something that maybe I don't mind sharing a cutting or two now that I have a larger Let me know in the comments below if you find these plants attractive. Do you have them? Are they on your wish list? Are they common? Are they rare? I would love to know in the comments down below. Stay tuned for an upcoming Planting with Julin. I'm gonna definitely plant up the Hoyas before I leave in a couple of days. It is Friday and I'm leaving on Wednesday. So I have a handful of days to figure out what I wanna take care of before I leave again for work. And I will definitely take apart this sense of area and see what is going on in this plant. Today's video part one and I don't know how many parts of my birthday plant haul for 2020. I have two and a half weeks left of my birthday and I am looking forward to see what other plant babies I come across here in California. Who knows, I might even order a plant online. I like to do that maybe once or twice a year. Just because I have so much to choose from in California, I like being able to go out and handpick them myself and it's just fun. A little bit more fun that way than ordering a plant online. So if you guys enjoy plant hauls, let me know down in the comments below. Give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. Subscribe for daily uploads between the main channel, Monday, Thursday, and the vlog channel, Friday, Sunday. You get a video each and every day. shower. I had a very long day. I was out for 12 hours on the road. It was a very fun day trip. I think I actually got a tan. But I hope you guys enjoy this very fun plant haul. And I'll see you soon. Until next time, aloha from Santa Monica, California. Bye.
Alright, welcome to today's bonus footage of Sonia's plant haul. It was so fun to do some plant shopping. It's very fun to influence my plant friends to get into Sonia's area. So that's very fun that she was able to pick up a few of these. It looks like some mini whale fins here. So very fun to see her Sensevaria collection grow. So here's an epiphylum that looks pretty familiar, right? This to me looks like the same as my Bob Marley. It is a very active grower, so I'm kind of interested to see how well it does. But very interesting because I don't really get to see him anywhere else. I haven't really seen him for sale anywhere else, so it's very fun. It was just like very random. And then, look at this neon watch chain. This is very cool. I should have picked one up for myself because I do have a little watch chain collection. But this really does stand out from the crowd if you see it amongst the other dark green babies here. And she has some stapelia here. Which is very interesting because she just got her first stapelia the last time we went plant shopping. And that is on the fuzzy side and this one is able to get a baby or two from her. Very fun. Do you guys see the very cool blue? So just thought I'd share with you the fun plants that Sonia picked up today. It was very fun plant shopping.